Happy Thursday, everyone. It's Twilight from California. So, I'm here to eat. I still have these two. I just haven't felt like um, uh, sipping through a straw. So, I still have a little bit of this. It would be a lot more, but I had dumped it because it had got so seasoned, or as I call seasoned, or scented. And then it was, I was gagging, so I have a reaction to that sometime. So what I've been doing, this is what I didn't finish last night. I put it in a bowl in the cabinet. It's, uh, going on 12 p.m. So. Mm. Smell good. So I'm trying to take a big. So, um, I've been mixing, so let me just go ahead and do some more of this. I'm in the clapper girl. I'm, done, I'm not going to, I lost some more weight. I lost like a pound. I should be down much more, but I don't know what happened. My body just... But I've maintained. And I've been eating starch too regular, but I guess the reason I haven't gained past gained um... Hold on. Hold on. Let me turn this down off. So, I, my intake is less at a time. So, and then, I didn't last night, but I've been taking uh, a drinking bacon soda. Not bacon soda. <sighs> apple cider vinegar and water or juice this is a lot I'm, kinda, I'm not gonna eat all this but I can eat it later so I gotta go to Riverside Rancho Cucamonga somebody needs a ride my friend needs a ride to Target she ain't called me but I'm going to Riverside so it's on the way the 15 is right by Rancho Cucamonga, right just there, or Ontario, whatever. So, um, if she don't call me soon, Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. 
Then after I go to Riverside, I need to stop in Eastville to pay my car note. And then I need to pick up some cornstarch. So I'm going to do a cornstarch haul today. Last time I bought cornstarch, it was like $14. That's a lot of money. Mm -mm. Like $2.99, $3.09. Yeah, that's $3.69. And you buy something else. I bought three boxes of starch. So that's nine. I'm on the uh I'm on recording. So that adds up. Mm. Mm mm. I'm not going to say how you doing today because I can, you know, I just want to say I, I hope everyone's doing well. It's been a long week, two days for me and my husband. We rested yesterday. All I got to say is sometimes helping people is more than a notion. And sometimes not worth the trouble. Mm-mm. Trying, trying to help somebody get, um, get some money, a lawsuit. They suing. And then they gonna have a nerd tell he my he had a nerd tell my I'm trying to get this money and it's gonna help the family and we could be millionaires and I, my husband was like and, and 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 people in the family they don't this I said I told my husband tell him to speak for himself because he started just going off you know how people good get on they like they say people get he, they own one he got on one. Yeah, people can't take a vacation. People can't do this. People can't do that. And I'm like, what in the world is he looking at? Because I know I don't look poor. I ain't nothing. I ain't poor. Poor. I ain't rich, but I ain't poor. Like, uh, And I was like, wait a minute. Is he insulting? So uh, I told my husband, you better tell him. And my husband said, wait a minute, dude, I work hard. I've saved money. <laughs> I ain't broke. I can go where I want to go. Do what I want to do. Eat what I want to eat. Wear what I want to wear. You know, people are saying, because you know, you ain't a bragger. People want to, uh-uh. I don't brag. I don't, I don't just say but I, I can take a vacation right now if I want to. Then I can come back and go take another one. And another one. I, I mean, I just had to tell him to tell him. You need to tell him because something wrong with him. And if you think I'm be holding breath, waiting on you to get a check, and then waiting on you to do the right thing, I just tried to help you doing the right thing. But I'm not going to wait for you to do the right I'm living my life. That's why I tell live your life. I have a friend. Well, not really a friend. A lady I met in Vegas. We stayed in touch. She went back to Chicago. I came back to California. Vegas wasn't a thing. But she was like a gambler or whatever. Long story short, she ended up, her sister died. And she was cleaning out her sister's house. Her sister never told her that she had two policies one with 300,000 one was 400,000 and my husband would always say wow you would think because you know you know you think people would be like you so my husband said wow Twilight she never asked offer you nothing she never said this or said that and I was like nope and um 
I wasn't worried about it. Now, this woman had over $400,000 in 2015, back when the economy was just kind of getting back together. You could get a house. Even in California, you can get a house for a hundred and some thousand. Vegas, you could get a house for a little over a hundred thousand. Nice house. I thought this woman would buy her a house. She's an older, older woman, too. She's much older than me. She could be my mom. She didn't buy no house. She didn't do nothing. She just gambled that money, and now it's gone. In the meantime, I wasn't worried about what she had. I was doing me. We, as long as we did right by our money. Now, okay, so I don't worry about people and what they got. And I'm happy for them, too. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get this money. I'm gonna get this 15 million. You think I'm sitting around waiting on him to get 15 million dollars to be happy? You don't need a lot of money to be happy. What you need to do is save your money, especially if it's coming from a source that's easy and you don't know nothing about. Like with this YouTube stuff, anybody that don't make money on YouTube, you're getting gang of commercials, getting checks, 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 checks. That money, more than half of it need to go in the bank. I mean, people get mad when you tell them, but hey, they, they won't be mad when they don't end up broke. Save money. You working hard, save money. And and, and I know me personally, and uh, you just have to prove. You don't have nothing to prove to nobody. Uh-uh. You going to an event. Oh, I got to go get a new dress. No, you don't. You got 15,000 new dresses in the, <laughs> in the closet. And it's new to them because they ain't never seen it. If I'm going to, to this event or anything, well, what I have on is new. Because you ain't never seen it. Well, I got to be going and buying some new stuff. Oh, I'm so glad I learned some sense. Now, as I'm maturing, I ain't got a lot of stress. I don't need all that stress. Worst thing in the world is stress. Money stress. So anyway. Somebody go buy a new car. I know a lady at the place where I was working. And um, they had some car deals going in Palm Springs. And so one lady went and got a car. Then another lady came from the job. She got a car. Then another lady got a car. And then Joyce, who had a very nice 2000-something Toyota Camry was very nice. Her note was 200 and something a month. 
This lady was in her 50s. Okay. She decided I she wanted a new car. Oh, it's 90,000 miles on my Camry. But 90,000 miles is nothing on a Toyota. She decided to go get her another car. When she was already paying for a Toyota. Okay, that lady came, got her a new car, a Kia Sportage. So she went from an economy car to a, a truck. All right, Vice President Kamala. So then she went and got her a truck. So her car note went from two thirty seven a month, probably just a little insurance payment after that, to... <laughs> 500 and something a month. Then she decided to retire because the company sold and she didn't want to learn a new computer system. So now she was struggling to pay this high car note along with her bills. Do you know that to this day, this, that lady is homeless? Trying to keep up with the Joneses. And I told her, I said, why are you retiring? You're in great shape. You get around really well. You don't have a husband. You should just not retire till you pay your car off. Save up some money. She didn't listen. So I have looked at, look at people. Check out the lives of people. So I learned a big lesson. That lady's in her late 70s now. And um, I hear she's in a a shelter with a dog. That was another thing. She refused to give up her dog. Okay, hear me out. Yeah, you can love a dog and a cat or whatever, but if it's costing you a lot of money, you can't afford it. So there she is with the dog, but it ain't even the same dog she had. She got a new dog. So I guess she's in a shelter where they accept the dog. So I'm learned looking at people and checking out people. Uh-uh. Spend your money wise. You going out to dinner? You ain't got to order an appetizer, a, a entree, and a dessert, and then leave the waiter a dollar. Oh, my gosh. People. <laughs> you take the kids out to dinner. You tell the kids what they're going to get. We out to dinner. You're not going to order all everything. It's just... If you're not rich, <laughs> and I don't feel sorry for Puffy, but he probably going to lose everything he has because he probably didn't take the time to secure his assets and Swiss bank accounts and Cayman Islands and stuff like that. And, and I don't feel sorry because he did something. We all saw it. I ain't taking up for nobody. And he wasn't smart. He should have just probably just flee the fled the country to a country with no extradition treaty okay but no he's he's sticking it out but my point is he probably about to lose everything he put up his house in bel air you know homey hills that's in la uh in a fabulous area uh 50 million dollars that home is up for sale or whatever um, but he's probably going to lose everything. So if rich people can lose everything. Poor people or regular people. You can't be spending your money like you got to think before you spend money. You know, I spend money. Yes, I do. But I don't, I try. I, you know, certain circumstances. And like I said, these days, mm -mm. nope, nope. I remember just when I started saving, trying to save some money, I had met some friends, and they were jet setters. They just loved me. And they were going all these trips and cruises. And Oh, Twyla, you want to go? You want to go? And I'd be like, mm-mm, how much is it? And then uh, I didn't like the price. And then I just didn't, I wasn't feeling, I have traveled a lot. I've been all over, I've been, uh, overseas and everywhere i've been all over america i love traveling but it seemed like the bed bug issue kind of <laughs> threw me for a loop on the travel 
But yeah, they go everywhere and uh, have a good time. I stay at home and have a good time. I have a good time riding up and down these beautiful streets, looking at these beautiful homes. And so everything's so beautiful and clean and well put together. I just enjoy the simple things in life. If you can learn to be grateful to just behold a beautiful tree, to just behold how something is put together, you don't have to pay for entertainment. Entertainment is free. All right, people going to these concerts, you know, paying all this money. Mm -mm. My husband loved boxing. He used to be in the boxing world. So I know he knew Holyfield, met Holyfield, and has his book and all that. Because the person that camp he worked in fought Holyfield twice, I think. Anyway, Alex Stewart. So I'm sitting up there, you know, there's a boys and girls club in Palm Springs. And they have events. And every year they had this sports sporting event. Uh, where they had sports figures come and speak and, you know, and you pay the ticket so I'm looking at it one day. They'd be running the commercials late at night. You know, this one coming, that one coming. They said Holyfield was coming. Because Simone Biles came. I didn't try to go to that. But Holyfield was coming. And I never knew the price. They didn't say it on TV. So what I did was I called the number and I found out about the tickets. The tickets weren't that bad. I can't even really remember what I paid for the tickets, but I surprised my husband. Bought two tickets, went to this event at this beautiful venue. We got food. We got to sit down <laughs> and, and relax. It wasn't like no big old thing. We got to be standing up or sitting down in the crowd. It was just nice. This was in 2020 at the beginning of COVID before they officially announced everything, I think. Yeah, because this was January. COVID officially hit in March. Yeah, for probably less than 100 maybe $150. It wasn't that bad. He got to meet Holyfield. I got to meet Holyfield. Holyfield looked really nice. And then he got um, Holyfield, remember his friend, and he even remembered him. He signed his book. And so, it's you know, it's a lot of other types of venues that you can meet or, you know, go to people, go to see events with people. And you ain't have to pay like that. It depends on the organization. Yep, and that food was delicious. And then we went home. Mm. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, boy, kind of play. Like, we sitting around waiting on you to, to get a lawsuit to give us some money. Uh-uh. Not this girl. And, uh, no, 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 no. I said, you better let him know. 
And we had to spend money for my husband to go and sit in the deposition. We went the first day. It was the wrong day. So that was gas and money wasted for food. But I got to eat some food that I like. Like, I love Sky's Tacos in L.A. A beautiful black lady. She's um, just she started the business when she was older, you know, like maybe in her 40s and up. But she has a very successful taco business. And one taco equals two. They give you two shells. So I all, I don't like eating a lot of stuff at once. So what I did, I just took one of the shells and dumped half of that meat and stuff in there. And I had my two tacos. And then I really had two and a half. I gave my husband one. I saved him one. <laughs> And then, uh, so we wasn't in L.A. that long. Um, and then I had a peach cobbler to deliver to somebody I had made. So I went over there and did that. Then I had to get back downtown and get him. But then officially, he had to go back the next day, 17th. That's more gas. Okay, gas. And then I bought more food because I went and had breakfast to kind of, you know, Kill time. Went to CJ's. And uh, they too hot now. But anyway, I ate there. And then uh, after that, I went and got my husband some um, oxtails. He loves oxtails at the Jamaican restaurant. So I did that, drove around, and finally he called. You know, you're doing people a favor putting gas in your car to help them. They got a nerve. Mm -mm. They don't want to talk smack. You didn't say this. You didn't say that. You should have said the other. And, you know, I'm trying to get money to make the family. And I, I ain't waiting on you. I've learned to depend on God. All right. So, anyway, I'm going to let you all go. I hope all of you all are having a very nice um, had a very nice week thus far. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm, 28 minutes. I was so tired yesterday. I just stayed in the house. It got me some good sleep. I slept good Tuesday night, too. Anyways. Alrighty. Take this bite. Mmm. Mmm. Fluffy. I don't know why I kind of want to finish this. Ah. Take one more bite. Mm. Mm -mm. So the moral of the story is be wise with money. Because you can get it and it can get away. So you want to be wise. Poor lady. But if she stay in that shelter, 
California help get her a place and she'll be okay. But wow, why well, have to go through that? You worked all your life. You shouldn't go through that inconvenience. Mm. The lady uh, I know from Chicago, she don't spend most of that money. That money gone. $400,000. So, like I said, you be wise. You just got to know what you can deal with. Can you really deal with being broke? If you don't like to be broke. If you don't like to be broke. If you know you like to, you, you got to space stuff 